What's up YouTube, Mr. Lama C here, and today we're going to be continuing our Hell Rainbow Druid. We did Shapeshifting in Normal, Elemental Druid in Nightmare. I'll probably just finish up the final bit of him right here because I do want to go get a Spirit Sword. Um, and then in Hell is Summons. So Rainbow Druid again is a different build for each difficulty, not using any of the same skills uh, between them. And so just a lot of fun. We've done a lot of this for all the characters in a variety of ways. We're switching which builds go where. We did the Druid one time before, so now this one has it all different. I think we had Elemental in Hell last time. So again, now, uh, now we're getting uh, sh summons for Hell. So before we do get there, like I say, the last piece we're going to do right here is get Mr. Druid... Um, his final bit there. Oh yeah, we have Saigon's boots, that's nice. And Saigon's shield, ooh. Um, trying to just look at like the stuff that we do have really fast. 20, I'll resist amulet. Oh, but I have a plus druid skills. So many good things. We're using leaf, 20 FCR, stealth, 20 MF, but we have obviously Sanders or Bloodfist. Uh, nice dual Res ring right there. Some good resistance there. Good res there. Nice booties. A little low on the fast run walk, otherwise pretty solid. And then just a variety of charms. I don't need that one. Um, for, uh, you know, all the stuff we're doing. So let's go ahead and just sell some pieces, repair some pieces. And let's look at the cows again. That seems like a good place to go. We'll make sure as well that we're on players eight because our character is pretty strong right now. And uh, we can maybe pick up till 70, 71. Honestly, leveling at players eight cows seems to be the best as well. Poison Necro Hell Run on YouTube already? Which one did we? I I did one a while ago, but I don't think that's like a recent one. I don't know if I did one in D2R. I know I've done it at least in LOD. Okay, nice and quick. You you can't build a leaf staff with teleport charges. That's That would be a magic staff, so you can't make a rune word in it. Rare ring? Nothing. It's actually like so garbage. You can use mosaic offline. Yes. All good. Alright, let's get the king rolling. Nah, he's fire immune rip. So again, we're just looking for... At this point, a broadsword or a longsword? Crystal sword, unfortunately, will get six open sockets from Nightmare. So we're not looking for that. There's a white longsword. I would prefer a broadsword, though, as it's lower requirements. So we'll keep looking a little bit. I'm a good goalie. My defenders left me out to dry a lot yesterday. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, it happens, you know. I still, like I said, I, I should never be giving up four goals in that game, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have actually, uh... <laughs> we, we can drop physical damage on the Cow King if we want. Still gonna be, that'd be way too long to kill him. But I appreciate it. I, I don't think I played terribly yesterday. I think I, I had some decent saves and stuff. Just two of the goals I wasn't going to stop. One I was just fully screened on by my defender and the other one was that one timer that they had the two on one and he Played it across. And I almost saved that one. I got a piece of it. It was close. Did you say what happened to the guy that got checked against the wall? Yeah. So he got checked pretty hard. Again, I understand why he was upset. Because he... The guy slid into... Like, fell backwards and slid into him. 
with his blades up on the second time. The first time he just like took a you know hard slide into the wall, whatever. But the second time, I you know, but it was totally unintentional. Our guy just couldn't skate, and so he just was like bad at skating and fell over, and in falling over, just smashed his legs. But then the guy got all upset and got kicked out, so it was funny. Yeah, the guy who got checked in the boards behind me was the same guy that got kicked out later on. There were a couple guys on... on so I'm just subbing. That's not like my real team. I don't, I don't have a real team yet. Um, cause I just started playing, so I've maybe played, what, nine games or something as a goalie? Where's my Oak Sage? Uh, we're, we're not in the summon yet. We'll be summon when we go to hell really fast. I'm just looking for a broadsword really fast, finishing up Nightmare essentially here. But, worst case, we'll just use the longsword. I'm getting better with my pads, but my left pad still is a little wonky. I still can't quite... It still sometimes, like, lays flat when I don't want it to. I don't know why. It's only that one. We'll take a level up. You're a goalie for 22 years? Nice. GoPro on a helmet? I'm not sure it's allowed to wear a GoPro on a helmet in my in this league. How hard is it to get a broadsword, man? Yeah, we'll just do this cow run, and if it's not, we'll just advance to hell. If we don't find it. It's not a huge deal, it just saves us a little bit of stats. Uh, appreciate it. I'm definitely feeling more comfortable, like, skating around out of the net. But stick handling is still so hard with a goalie stick. Like, I just want my regular player stick so badly to when, when the puck's out there. Soul rune and an Amrin as well. Nice. mind if I do. I wouldn't call beer league hockey professional hockey player, but... more cows. Alright, last group and then we'll head forward. <laughs> what you got? Ah, I don't even care to kill him. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we've got that. Wow, nice! Just a flat upgrade, nice tri res. Do we need the bows on? Yeah! Yeah, that's fun. Uh, 25 to life. Alright, well, we'll take it. Small improvements. Um, okay, so now we are at the point where it is time to go to hell. We are level 70. Looking great. We'll head over here. We'll sock at this puppy. And Amtalthal Bort. 34 FCR. 
Eight magic absorb, nice. Um, okay. Everybody loves spirit. So as a summon druid, our main focus, let's go ahead and respec here. Our main focus first, make sure we can wear this. We need that. There's three to strength there. What's our base? 55, that's perfect. Base value is 20 here. I'm gonna need at least a little bit more. Okay, so that's a base value of 30. Where else am I getting dexterity from? Um, eight dexterity from this, wow. Oh, that's tough. I mean, one of Druid skills is good, so we'll go ahead and use it. But 20 all res is also really nice. Uh, let's check out rings, 20 light res. That all res is really solid there. Um, we'll also swap over to some gloves. We'll put blood fist on, get a little more life. We will make Ral or Tal. I could go up for the plus one to all skills from Saigon's, but then we're really lacking um, over here, and that just seems bad. I don't think I have another Ort Rune, so let's cube one. Perfect. Ancient's Pledge. So that's beautiful. And now our resistances are looking pretty nice. Our fire res is still a little low, but that's okay. And yeah. Pretty solid overall. Um, okay, so now that we have everything there, everything else will go into vitality. Just get us some life. And now we are the summoning tree. So here is going to be our summons. We need to take a look. Ravens are really nice damage actually. So we probably want to max these. I'm guessing we're really gonna go with uh, dire wolves as well. They add some percent life per level, which is really nice. Um, so we want to max those, want to max our ravens. I'll put a point into bear. Definitely seems at least worthwhile to have a single point there. Um, spirit wolves are damaged there. They are attack rating right here. The grizzly does add damage per level as well. So at this point it's, do we want to add more attack rating or more damage? The thing is, do we want to also try and summon all the spirit wolves, or are they just going to be annoying? They have cold damage, which is nice. Yeah, Oak Sage is also really nice to boost up. Um, additional max life is really helpful. We, of course, could also go uh, Heart of the Wolverine, but I think I'm preferring Oak Sage. Put that to 10. Um, we'll go here. Maybe I'll just max the bear and then put spirit wolves with the rest. I think that seems like a solid spread for everything. Um, okay, and then lastly, we just want to set this, so Grizzly, Dire Wolf, Spirit Wolf, Oak Sage, and Birds. All right, let's go to hell. We could also make Edge Bow, though... Is that playing too silly in a way? We'll see how it goes without it. Let's let's play without edge first. Okay, so we always get five, but they have 34 hits. Good day. 
It's also really good, yeah. I mean, it is. So it begins. All right, so we've got all our summons now. Oh, we're on players eight. Wow, this is players eight. They're tearing stuff up. Impressive. I went down to players three. No might Merce. We can definitely grab a mercenary and see if he'll like survive and exist a little bit, but generally they just die. Now we're level 70, so we will kind of be moving forward generally, but... Zoo Druid. Crushing it so far. Look at our resistances. Nice. Pretty close to max on two. I mean, we have a lot of really nice resistance gear, I'm not gonna lie. Me into physical. We can leave that alone. And as always, you can teleport if you ever wanna kinda get stuff set. And we're just making sure that we're, uh, you know, rolling forward with it all, but... Baby, you got yourself a stew with this puppy. Now, the big thing, important thing to remember is one, just resummoning, um, but two, plus to skills are like godly on this. And the reason plus to skills are godly is because the druid summon tree is actually unique. It's unique in that you do not have synergies from from this so it's it's not a synergy it is uh they're all treated as like a mastery maybe whatever it is every plus skill point including soft points benefits all the others so if i get plus one more skills then we get all the more right there Everybody gets that synergy bonus. Would a hustle weapon be better for fanaticism? Ooh. That's right, we found a co-rune, didn't we? Oh, man. I mean, hustle would get fanaticism, which would be really nice. I have two co. We can, uh, this is only for Summon Druid. Where do you get that benefit? How is hockey? Good, we ended up winning. All right, that holy freeze is annoying. Let's just run away. But yes, I could run Fanaticism. I would lose the plus skills. Which is the sad part. But. I could have it on swap, but then I don't have my teleport on swap. It's a tough choice. I could put it on a mercenary which may just be the best way to go. And then try and keep the mercenary alive. So we need to get a three open socket uh, weapon then to put it on. Is Druid basically like a necromancer? Yeah, similar here, you know. Of course, muffler. I actually love the sound effects. Everything resummons. Hustle on an Act 5 Mercenary. I don't hate it because Act 5 Mercenary is really strong. Now, I could also get a Might Mercenary. And then put Hustle on him and get the double aura. But the question, of course, becomes, will he survive? Always tough to know. Whereas... Act 5 Mercenary definitely survives a little bit better. 
Act 3 Mercenary, way weaker, but with so many summons in the in front of him, will he survive? Also a question. It's really hard to know. Really hard to know. But when we go get uh, to town really fast, we can we can do that. What's really nice about this character as well is again, you can see this is actually better than a lot of like characters that I've taken through and guided playthroughs. I mean, we're crushing stuff all over. No worries whatsoever. The damage on this druid has definitely been improved. There's a lot that you can do with this character, so it's really nice. They really beefed him up. I just want a waypoint. But the radius on level one fanaticism? Yeah, I mean, that's also the thing. You kind of want someone who's up next to them so that the fanaticism is actually working for all of them, you know. You love your faux paladin? Faux paladins are really fun, actually, yeah. They've got a couple annoying areas, but... Now you want to make summon druid? I mean, I, you won't regret it, in my opinion. I really think it's a fun build. And then just kind of casually resummon your stuff, you know, as you get the chance. Make sure your spirit stays alive. Feel like you're always needing more stamina. Early on, you will need more stamina for sure. Yeah, that's where stamina potions really just come into play. What level do you think you'll be at Diablo? I mean, I don't think I'm gonna level up that much. All right, Jamali's only level 39, so that's not great. Um, do I have a three open socket? No, we need to, yeah, okay, so we, we need to find one for sure. Jamali's probably going to go down fast, that's okay, we'll, we'll get a new one later on. This is also really fun to run with friends. Yeah, this would be a great build to run with friends. The main reason being, it gives your friends a lot of, like, something that they can kind of, like, have to help and, and you know, tank ability, right? All of this is now being tanked by my summons, which means my friend can sit there with his little sorceress and shoot stuff, and he doesn't have to worry about always just getting absolutely wrecked. So I agree. Having one or two of the summons is always really nice and really helpful. Or triple summon druids. That'd be a lot of a lot of summons, but probably would work out okay, honestly. Beautiful. This is like so strong, man. And over-leveling in Nightmare to 70, I think, also is really a nice play. Just having those extra plus skills. Because, like I said before, this is, you know, I'm level 70, but I'm only running with plus 3 to all skills right now. So, this is definitely a character where, yeah, if you pick up a few more things, plus to a couple druid skills on a helmet, plus three to summoning skills on an amulet, like it doesn't have to be crazy things. You're really starting to uh, to bump that output up, you know. Yeah, I've got a druid helm I could go imbue. So we may do it, because 20 FCR is nice for teleporting. 
And it also does have 38 fire res, which honestly, that's kind of the bigger reason that I'm keeping this. Really big fire res is helpful for me. Yeah, resistances can be hard to kind of snag, but getting them through charms is a really nice uh, addition. Like, if you look at my charms, I've got 25 there, 12 there, 7 here, 6 here, like 7 there. It's a decent amount when you add it all up. So, yeah, you can run Nightmare Cows, you can run Lower Kuros. There's a variety of things that you can do. And I'm just always looking for charms that have more resistances on them. Or plus life, you know, I mean, there's other things, but... Almost 68, I have Double Spirit Runner and Lauren Stealth. Nice. Thank you. When do you think you will have a pre-order Kickstarter ready for Llama RPG? You know, that's a good point. So lore is actually not a release. bad idea. I should, I should make a lore. Again, we do lose the 38 fire res. I gained some light res, but I don't need light res. Trying to see where I could... I guess, ah, but then I would lose the plus one skills from that. Um, pre-order Kickstarter for Lama RPG. So, I want to get the demo out first. Ah, oh, there's the broadsword. That's what I was wanting. I want to get the demo out first. So, the skills ended up taking a little bit longer with Lama RPG. Which, you know, you always have little setbacks in different ways. Um, nothing horrible. Just, you know, took a little longer to, to get all set in. Um, so... That's, you know, just a, a small piece that's going you know, to take a little more time. But I think we should still have the internal demo done soon. And then once we have that, I can kind of show that around. Like, I'm not going to have that deployed for everybody yet, but that'll be something that I can at least, like, show you guys. Hey, here's what it's looking like. Here's the demo that we're playing. Um, and then we'll get that demo, get a deployment strategy... And, uh, kind of work off of that. And we can get the demo out to everybody so they can go in and, you know, connect to the server and play around and just, like, do basic stuff. It is new, yes. This is in D2R. They made it so now you can have the whole zoo out. Um... And Dario, grab yourself the waypoint. It's always not a bad idea if you want to farm her. But, yeah. So once that'll be deployed, then I'm thinking of starting the Kickstarter out. Uh, because, again, I just wanted to make sure people could, like, kind of see what they were kickstarting a little bit better. So it's like, hey, this is what you'd be, you know... This is kind of a very basic idea of the game. And then you can be like, oh, actually, I don't like this at all. This isn't fun. I don't want to contribute to it, you know. And that'd be fine. No, I'm working on it with a few different people from chat. Mod, you know, just kind of various community members. I'm doing all the game design. Um, and I've got a couple people doing like art, a couple people doing coding, a couple people, or like a guy doing music, you know, just kind of all that. Yeah, a bunch of people who believe in the project. <laughs> Exclamation mark RPG Discord will take you to the Discord. You can join there for more information. There's a large amount of information there. Alright. So, yeah, I mean, this build's pretty self-explanatory, man. Biggest thing is if there's stuff like, you know, you really want this Dark Shaman to die, you can summon your guys on top of him. That can be really helpful. 
I don't know, Steven. I don't know. But for the most part, build kind of plays itself, as a lot of summon builds do. Got immune to physical there. Let's see how they handle. This build shreds hell compared to my last couple. Yeah, it's a little different, huh? Alright, we'll leave him alone. And Dario, let's go! So, here you're gonna have to definitely resummon a lot, and Dario does a lot of poison damage. So, just be aware of that. And if we can get Shaman killed off and stuff, that'll help out as well. So we don't have all these summons running around. Teleport over there so they get back on top of her. And now we should have a better focus on her as well. Nice and easy. This build is painfully slow? Really? I feel like it's moving really fast. And I'm mostly only having to resummon these spirit woofs for the most part. They kind of are a little weaker than the other ones. Life tap would help, but it doesn't feel like I need it, you know. Booyakasha. How easy was that? Act one is done. Give yourselves a clap. Yeah, I mean, our bear's got 4,400 life plus Oak Sage. So he's pretty well stacked up. Thank you, Wolf and Shadow. Let's go ahead and put some Rejuves away. Grab some potions. I don't have the hustle made yet. I need a three open socket weapon to make it. Let's also see if we can, uh, this is based on your character level. Let's see if we can imbue this puppy. Druid skills, bang! Rip. That was worth a shot. But once we get that, we can grab ourselves another. Another uh, mercenary. A little fanaticism group here, but we're pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, it's really only the Spirit Wolves. The Dire Wolves are pretty dang tanky. The Bear is tanky. And that's probably because also this is lower right here. I don't have as many skill points there, so. Man, they just smoke these guys. Why not use Spirit of the Barbs? I mean, we could, but... Not barbs, really. Uh, Heart of the Wolverine, we could to, you know, boost the attack rating and damage. But I feel like I'd rather them just be alive. Oak Sage is so nice. You really get kind of a mix and match, and that's personal opinion. 
I don't think there's a right and wrong answer for uh, which one you're using of, of the two. Because they're both so good. What's also nice is ravens are uh, indestructible. So they just do amazing damage. You can see 700 to 850 damage a pop. They are just the bread and butter. They got a really nice uh, buff. And that's like such a huge piece of it. They just die after 34 hits. Or, you know, depending how many hits, but 34 in this case. I don't have the the weapon yet for my mercenary, so once I get the weapon, I'll, I'll use him. Okay, let's just find ourselves Maggot Lair. Summoner for heck mode. Where do I think this build will struggle? It'll be a little slow in like Chaos Sanctuary and stuff. That definitely is like a little slower, but it's a pretty solid build. It really just is. Like, they did a lot to uh, this character to make it actually viable and better. They really put a lot of work into making the character, like, viable, even though it's not quite as good as, like, Necro. Doesn't have Corpse Explosion or anything. Yeah, it's it's never gonna be as good as, like, Hammers or anything like that, but it's, it is a solid, solid build still, for sure. Yeah, Necromancer, you have to resummon off of corpses and stuff. Here, you just resummon whenever you want. Boss group and minions. We'll go ahead and kill it all. So, yeah, it's like, did it murder these two, three boss groups as fast as, like, a sorceress, cold source would? No, of course not. Have I just stood still? And they tandle it all for me? Yes. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Trade-offs. Yeah, Necros also get curses. Like I say, Necros overall have the extra benefit, I would say, for sure. My Oak Sage is level 10, so it's not as big as it could get, but it's not bad. You know, gives us, what, 75% max life? Very nice. Jackie Chain, thank you! Yeah, it's definitely a build again. The more plus skills you get, and the more, like, just skill points that you have to spread across, because you need to put skills in here, 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 and here. So you want a hundred skills. And so to get a hundred skills, you're gonna get, you know, 12 up to 12. So level 88 is when you would be really, or level 87. And you would really be, like, maxing this build out, technically. Here's the Android uses Shockwave. That's the other thing, is Shockwave, even though it doesn't do damage anymore, is an amazing stunner. So if you watch my previous one, where I actually did a guided playthrough with the Zoo Druid, you'll see that, uh, that's what I was doing. I was using Shockwave... Um, and it's just a really nice and easy again. You just go one, two, three. You have your werebear. You're tankier because you're in werebear form. And then you shockwave everything. Everything is stunned and your summons just murder it. 
Yeah, I could go run like normal and nightmare rat ratament for plus two more skills really easily, exactly. There's the waypoint. Um, I don't know if they gave new equips tailored to this build. Um, I don't think so. I guess hustle would would be a cheap way to get fanaticism. Maggot Lair, we are uh, just gonna basically skip. So this is again why we have this teleport staff. Because summon druid, especially in the Maggot Lair, is gonna be a little slow and a little rough. Now, is it possible? Yes, but you also have physical immunes. So, We can, you know, we can summon the stuff and like, is it possible to just slowly poke your way through? Of course. And you can also summon your wolves in between and on the other side so that you can kill the stuff. But why? Why is the question. This is why we have a teleport staff. Grab our Staff of the Kings, and move forward. I think when you max out a Summon Druid, it is still decent. Again, it will not be your S-tier, Hammered In, Blizzard, Lightning Source, anything like that. It never gets to that level of damage. But when you've got really nice gear and all these things, you can definitely teleport around and, you know, clear out chaos and clear areas in an okay amount of time. Or I say Telestaff is the most useful item in the game. I mean, Spirit does exist, but... Yeah, tele tele staff is pretty up there. So we're four days into Diablo 4 season. How we looking? How is it? Yeah, the Lost City, which you can just uh, look at from town, you know. It gets closer as well. It's really funny. Looks like a, a mix and match. Some people saying fun. Some people saying everyone quit. <laughs> How do you feel about trying to target Telly Circlet later on or jewelry? Yeah, it's tough. Hearts are fun, but lots of bugs. Yeah, I've heard there's lots of bugs with, with the hearts. The craziest bug to me is the stash bug. That that one still blows my mind. You the reason that stashes are so it's so hard for them to give more space in stashes is because every single player loads every other player's stash and so the more that they put in your stash the more every single player has to in memory load that 
Which is a huge question mark. Now, the only explanation I can think of is that's how it was in Diablo 3, because in Diablo 3, you only had a couple party members, and that's how they just coded it. So, my guess is they just copied the Diablo 3 code and pasted it over. But then when the game was made to be like this MMO with all these other people and stuff... It created all sorts of... It's like, oh, wait a second. That doesn't actually function. I don't think that's a great example of why Diablo shouldn't be an MMO. I think that's a great example of why you can't just copy-paste from Diablo 3. And you have to build different solutions. It's the same in other Diablos as well. But in Diablo 2, the max you have is eight people in a game. Again, it's you can't just do the same solution when you suddenly everybody is going to see everyone's stashes. So that's still the wildest, like, thing. But it also, I mean, it makes sense that it hasn't been fixed, really, because those sorts of things are always so late to get fixed. Because it doesn't make money. You know? That's just, somebody's got that somewhere as a bug fix that needs to happen. Ah, oh, fire skills. Now, yes, ultimately in the long run, will them having big stash issues probably lose them money? For sure, but that's not how big execs generally see it. <laughs> Why not have a currency tab? Because everybody has to be able to load the currency tab then. Also, honestly, they'll probably sell us a currency tab later on. That's probably what the plan was. Alright, now the nice thing as well is bosses like Duriel and stuff really aren't too bad. May take a little bit, but that's about it. This is where uh, Edgebow would probably do really well, actually, if we're going to be honest. I mean, it would be good everywhere. So we can... We can... Uh, after we kill Duriel, we'll go make Edgebow. So you guys can see that. Are locker rooms nice at the Stars practice facility? Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice facility. The Schmigs with five gifted subs. Wow. Thank you so much. Big appreciation. 47 years together. Wow. Happy anniversary to Mr. and Mrs. Older Schmigs. Elder Schmigs. To your parents. 
Ah! Easy, Daryl. And yes, the Thorn Spirit would be a little bit better here, but again, it's whatever. Salty Cashew, thank you very much. Twenty six months. Yeah, it's not what you're thinking. No mercenary with hustle. It will come. And wow, you blink your eyes, and we are in Act 3 of Hell. Give yourselves a clap, everybody. You crushed it. Fnass is more isn't that great, doesn't work for ravens. Yeah, but it's still okay. I mean, it's something, right? Like, it is added damage, and the wolves do okay stuff. Eight percent lightning resist. We say yes, please. We are not, Delo. Uh, it'll increase their attack speed at least. So even if it won't increase, you know, their damage. There needs to be items between rare and legendary in D4. I mean, I think the issue is rare and legendaries drop non-stop. The idea of rare or legendary doesn't even like make sense. What what is shouldn't rare be like something that's actually kind of rare and legendary be something that's actually like whoa legendary? Instead, every time you finish a dungeon, your entire inventory is stuffed with it. That's all they drop. It's all that drops everywhere. So that's my big issue. That's it. We just get. Rare legendary, rare legendary, all over the place. Which, you know, D3 kind of did the same thing. Again. A lot of, like I've said before, the game is not Diablo 3, but a lot of the stuff within the game plays and feels similar to Diablo 3. But I don't even think it's just Diablo. It really is a lot of modern ARPGs. I agree. One of my favorite parts about Diablo 2 is that like rare items are actually cool when they drop. You know? Eh, we'll go ahead and try. Do I recommend buying D4 for sale? I mean, my thoughts are Diablo 4 is, if you like modern ARPGs, I don't think it's the best modern ARPG out there. But I think it fits in just fine. I think the story, a lot of people have liked the story, thought it was a good like story playthrough. If you're not caring to like so much about the mechanics of working your way through it all and stuff, I think it's probably decent. Um, and like, playing through, I would say, you know, I didn't enjoy the story nearly as much because I don't care about story and the mechanics of it were bad. There like wasn't much density and it was just weird. A lot of escort quests. But once I got past that, then I had some fun for like 30 hours or so. Um, and then after that... I, uh, it kind of slowly faded. PvP was alright. Yeah, we could get an enchant mercenary. That'd be kind of fun. 
I was thinking that. All right, so Great Marsh is looking like a dud. One, two, if the three doesn't turn, then we go there. That's probably true. Jesus, too far. All right, so we don't have a skip. Exile con soon, yeah. Yeah, he'll actually enchant them. So, I do feel like a fire mercenary wouldn't be a horrible try. We could give him hustle as well. Yeah, so... Exactly. I think it's, you know, you get for the cost, it's not like a terrible value. The biggest issue, honestly, that I would say I have is do I want to invest, you know, that many hours in Diablo 4 or is it better to like there's so many games out there uh, that are all similar value, you know. I think you can find better games for cheaper. But, I don't think Diablo 4 is this terrible buy, you know. Daddy Bezos, thank you. Thank you, Jay Zeno and Daddy Bezos. I don't think you're, like, making a huge mistake if you buy Diablo 4 and want to play it. Counter-Strike 2 is coming out? What in the world? <gasps> But yeah, it's like, can you get just as much fun out of Halls of Torment, or maybe more fun, and it's only $5? Yeah. Will you get 10 times the fun out of Llama RPG, and that's only $9.99? Yeah. So it's like, again, in terms of overall, compare it to movies or other things that you put money into, all video games generally, even just a few hours of playing it, is already more value. If you're comparing it across video games, though, I mean, Lom RPG is gonna like blow it out of the water, you know? No bias. Small bias. Jackie Chain! Thank you very much for the seven. Mwah. Lama RPG will be on Steam, yes. So, I assume everything on Steam will be on Steam Deck, right? Now if it's turn-based? It is turn-based. Still gonna be great. Turn-based is actually a feature of Lama RPG. It's not a limitation that exists because we couldn't do ARPG or figure it out. The combat system is, is was a dream I had I woke up and I was like, I know how to make this combat and I want to try it. And so that's what we have now. So, I understand if you don't like turn based games, totally fine. Llama RPG is going to be turn based. Llama ARPG will come out later if Llama RPG does alright. And that one will be. An ARPG. But this is not going to be your average turn based. Yeah, I mean, again, it's not like ARPGs nowadays are great with their action, anyways. Action ARPGs right now are pretty terrible, if I'm gonna be honest. There's like leaning into the action and it's just awful. <laughs> Everything just blows up the entire screen and it's all over the place spammy. So it's not like they're doing great things in that space. But I say give Lama RPG a try, at least a watch, and see how I'm trying to make the turn base. And then see if you, you know, will hate it or not. If it's still not for you, 
That's totally fine. I get it. Is this for Final Fantasy? No, this is for Llama RPG. Exclamation mark RPG Discord. Will there be a Llama Co-op Survival Battle Royale? No plans on a Battle Royale Survivor yet. But we have Llama RPG, Llama ARPG, and Llama Trading Card Game all um, designed and planned. And Llama the board game is already designed, but that's just in my house. Where I designed it. <laughs> it's kind of nice to just like chill and let my summons just murder everything. So, is Long RPG Pokemon Go on steroids? Pokemon Go is. A mobile walk around and catch it. It's a very fun game, but Lama RPG is not like Pokemon Go. Um, there's not even yeah. Lama RPG is Pokemon on steroids with a a holy oh yeah I need to do Flare Dungeon with a whole dungeon system built in beyond it. Or, I mean, combat system. It also has dungeon stuff. But it's got, like, a large combat. Yes, it's much more... D it's like a D&D-inspired Pokemon in a way, you know? Let's see. Eh, garbage. I haven't played Final Fantasy, so I don't know. But, yes, the one thing that I... Well, not one thing, but one of the things I didn't like about Pokemon was the combat was very basic and simple. Which isn't bad per se because it's something that fits very well for that but I think there's a lot of room to be added in there in the way of kind of again like D&D &D, have a turn based game but also have like you know my character have skills that they've you know specced into and no you're not cop you're not capturing Pokemon or anything like that you're just, uh, you're just your llama, and you're going around, and you're fighting everything, and figuring out the world and what's going on, and yeah, the, you're leveling up, there's, you know, mining, there's tailoring, there's alchemy, there, you know, a lot of, like, systems like that. So... Again, it's hopefully more in depth. Kill the witch doctor. Is there hockey? No, I don't know. I don't have hockey built into the game yet. We got to get Warren to do that. Are you playing a llama who's playing Diablo two? Yeah, you're basically a llama playing Diablo 2 in a turn-based, colorful world. And... Yeah. Um, again, Lower Karost is a great place to farm if there's stuff that you need to farm. I, sh I, I forgot to mention it. This is a guided... No, this isn't a guided playthrough. Okay, never mind. I don't need to be doing all my explanation. We ran out of telecharges. Hockey minigame? If we can get Warren to code it in. That'll come later. Keep your secrets. I mean, LK is a nice place to farm regardless, so. Wow. 
Howdy, howdy. Okay, so... Probably on the other side. You're only playing as a llama right now in the game. I was thinking of maybe also letting you play as an alpaca, but maybe that'll be an expansion. But right now you play as a llama. Move and out being in our packet behind a paywall. There we go. The goal of the game is to not make bank. It is to create a fun game. In my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, there are clone hunters that are trusted. I would suggest asking one of them. Thank you, Choplops. What about the trade system? The trade system is going to be very open. I'm looking at a variety of trade systems uh, to all exist. So having like a marketplace where you can set stuff and people can just buy it, having an auction house, having straight up just trade me and you trading items um yeah kind, kind of looking to build a variety of ways Ooh, conviction aura this will be uh tough probably that conviction aura stuff gonna go down fast keep resummoning May just need to pull away. Coming out, etc., etc. Are you saying when is Lum RPG coming out? The current aim is to get it out in 2024 but have it in you know a mildly playable form prior to that yeah this conviction is just too nasty we need to take care of this guy first oh my gosh they're just all like healing each other Hey, okay, I'm gonna reset. I, I don't want Conviction Aura. It will be turn-based, yes. Will come out on Xbox. It's gonna be on Steam and Steam Deck first. Or just, you know, all the Steam places first. Um, and then, if it does well there, people are enjoying it, we'll get a port for uh, mobile and like console and stuff. Is 2024 real timeline? Oh yeah, it should definitely be able to be out by end of 2024, but I think it could definitely be out before then. Especially with the idea that the game doesn't need to fully be released um, in like, uh, you know, like it, it could kind of be an early access style game that builds on itself where I just kind of add in things a little bit after, you know? Hey, the game is out, then professions can be added a little later, right? Stuff like that, it definitely has room to kind of add in over time, I would say. So, you know, worst case, again, get all of the base functionality there, 
and then grow it up. And that just kind of depends on how we're feeling. If I want to release it at that stage and people think, yes, we want to, I'll probably let people kind of vote on it. Or if we would rather get that stuff kind of situated more first and people would rather it be that way and then we, um, you know, release the whole thing a little more fleshed out. I'm, I'm good with either option, honestly. I never did the sewers. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I hope it's just a fun game and people enjoy it. That's, that's it. So, essentially, when I'm doing beta testing and things like that, if the game still needs more and isn't, like, fun yet, then we won't release it yet. If the game's a ton of fun and people just are, like, jamming the beta and they're just like, I want to play what we have right now, then we can look at doing what we just said, which is, all right, we will just kind of push out a little bit early access on it because the game is at least built out enough that it's fun, people are enjoying it, they want to play more, and then we'll just continue working and adding the features in beyond that. So that's, that's essentially where I'm at with it. How many tiers will be in the battle pass? Uh, three tier. Oh, JK. JK. Oh. No, there is no battle pass, llama pass, whatever pass. Battle pass is probably copyrighted by Activision or something, so. Yeah, none of, none of that. No microtransactions. You're not buying skins or anything. The game is supposed to be a fun game. If you do that, do you end up getting most of your revenue on the early access release and then having to incur costs for little financial benefit to further develop it? Again, I'm not really worried about the financials, which is, you know, probably not the smartest way to handle it. Um, but the main first focus is I want to make a game and I want to make a game that is fun. So that is my focus. Uh, I'm kind of like right now, you know, I've put in probably five figures, I would say. Um, actually, yeah, I've put five figures in, you know, to the development of the game. And that's just all my own cash right now. Um, and, you know, later on when we do a Kickstarter, maybe, like, can get some of that back or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's very, uh, just like, the, the, the focus, again, is I want to make a game because I want to make a game. Just like I wanted to make a rap, so I'm going to make a rap. Um, and I made a rap. I made another one because I want to make another one. Um, so... You know, it's it's a, a thing I really want to do, and I really want to focus on the game being a fun time and everybody just enjoying it and loving it and all of that. So with that being the focus... Oh yeah, I need spirit. With that being the focus, um, I feel like I'm not as worried about okay, if I release and then it sells a lot on early access and then there's not as much revenue coming in, why would I develop it further? The reason I develop it further is because I want the game to be fun. And I have a lot of things that I want to make in the game. And so the only way that I wouldn't, like, really develop it further is if it's just a bust. If, like, we put it out and people just don't like it 
and it's just not fun, and I try and try and try again to keep shifting it and adjusting it, but I'm just failing. You know? If it's unplayable and in a way that I can't fix. I keep trying to fix it, but it just doesn't work. Because, you know, for whatever reason, like I say, it just isn't isn't functioning, and, and that's just, you know... And people just aren't enjoying it, people aren't playing it. And, yeah. In that case, at some point, I'd probably be like, alright, well, I made the game, that's cool. I'll, uh... You know. It is what it is. But... I will try very hard to not let that be the case. Jackie Chain with five gifted subs as well. Thank you so much. Will there be a retail collector's edition? Uh, like a physical edition? Probably not. Just because I don't want to have to figure out dealing with physical stuff. Maybe we'll do something on the kickstart thing where I like send some cool thing across or something I don't know Taylor Swift after releasing their rap no I wish thank you money can I dress up like a llama when I play it thank you so much Jackie chain you've been very very sweet uh, yeah you can dress up like a llama when you play it encouraged Let's find Mr. Ishwal. But again, if like, I try and release it and the, uh, let's say the combat system isn't fun, right? People just aren't enjoying it. It's just too complicated or too whatever. It's the stamina. People hate the stamina and how it functions. It's just not a good time. I'm like totally up for just trashing it and then building a completely different combat system a little bit which kind of would suck and take a little bit of time to redesign it and rebuild it but like you know if we cannot get it working cannot get it to a fun place because it is a very unique combat system that's very different from you know what you would see play right now you know this isn't Pokemon, where you just have, okay, I, I do my one attack, they do their one attack, and it's good, you know? Like, it's not the greatest visual, like, spawn. It's It's got a decent amount. going with it there so thank you but this is why we'll do the beta test and we'll get the feedback and all of the pieces exactly all of those pieces are exactly why all of that stuff is so important Do items have sockets? Yes. Is there wood cutting? There is not wood cutting. There was wood cutting, but we changed it over to gathering, and I think that maybe shifted one more time. Somebody had a, an idea of what could be something, and I thought it sounded really nice. And I was like, yeah, that might be a good way to shift it. Oh, so many souls.
Kill as well. There we go. Woo. Pretty good. Spirit is everywhere. Any Easter egg ideas? Oh yeah, that's actually gonna be a big focus of the game. Not so much Easter eggs. I mean, there will be Easter eggs, you know. We'll put fun little things in. Um, but a big focus for me, in my opinion, will be having uh, like fun little surprises all over just things to go and learn and find and all of that stuff i just think is like so fun in games when that's like done well let's let's go smash this stone it should actually be pretty easy on this character so that's that's something that i am focusing on Exclamation mark RPG Discord is going to be where all the like signups for that stuff is is going to be. I'll I'll announce there. I mean I'll also like talk about it on stream and stuff, but that'll be where I'll you know I give updates on the game if there's anything in particular that you need to know. When there is like, hey, I need people to test this, the demo's ready here, yada yada, that'll be like the first place people will see it. Oops. a little bit away maybe see if we can it's like a lot of stuff in here try and kill a couple things will there be any offline aspects yes the game will have offline mode fully offline where you don't have to be connected to the internet I hate that uh, every game makes you do that now. What can we expect in terms of graphics? Uh, you're probably looking at Pokemon Stardew Valley. It's like a 16-bit game. I really like those kinds of graphics. It's going to be colorful and fun. Again, I know that's not everybody's like favorite style, but I oh, know I really like it. I mean, Diablo 3 is colorful and fun, but not in the right way. Like, this is colorful and fun, you know? D3 is colorful but not fun. Yeah, it's like colors in the wrong way, you know. Like, I want there to be nice color palettes in all the areas and, you know, so it gives you a fun idea and theme and all of this, but it also doesn't just feel like... You know, it's... 
Whatever it is. So, here, like a good example. Let me see. In Long RPG Discord, Art Channel, is that where? get my summons up and then we'll so like this is a good example of like you know the snow world right ice ice town this is your little like llama yeah, I mean, it looks like, you know, it's got the similar vibe of, again, Zelda, Pokemon, whatever. It is 16-bit. Here's, like, base weapon, you know, base sword, right? So, it's cute, fun. Etc. The Festo is just a beast, man. I thought they would take him out way better. I think if Llama RPG does well, and then Llama TCG, which is within Llama RPG, do well, then I think uh, Llama ARPG is, you know, next. I've already got a cool way to make it work. Io Rune. Jesus. All right, well, we could make Bulwark for a mercenary now. Ooh, interesting, Sam. We still need to just find a three open socket, um, like weapon base. Then we can make Something there. So let's at least just like try hiring a holy freeze. Even though we don't have anything. What good do my chief? You already have a way for Lama ARPG to work? Yeah, I mean again, we'd have to figure out like financials of it and stuff because obviously in ARPG we're having to send back data more often um, and pieces like that but I actually have an interesting unique way to design Llama ARPG that I do like but oh yeah 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 sorry thank you Oh, that's really nice. Heck yeah. But I don't know if it strays too far from just like standard, you know, fighting. It's kind of like a mix between action and turn based. So, why not Fend is on? Is she reasonable right now? Feels like she'd be a little rough. Yeah. But again, that's all, you know. Who knows, maybe, pieces. Battle chess? I mean, not exactly. 
You're essentially choosing your turn-based actions, but it's all going off in real time as you're moving around and engaging. So, oh, rip mercenary. It would be a very weird kind of style because you're you're having to actively very quickly, you know, adjust what skills you're using. But it's not your standard I just like, you know, ARPG. I come over here and I cast a blizzard or something. It's kind of more complicated. Which again, am I making too many complications in combat systems? Maybe. We'll see with Llama RPG. Get him, boys. Wouldn't curse for double damage work miracles? Yeah, but I don't... You can't, like, get a wand with amp charges or anything. Um... Alright. Otherwise, that would be great. Oh, that Mitor is nasty. So many bosses right here. How do you deal with physical means on 7 Druid? Just avoid them. The standard answer for most of the things. Just do not fight. Will it have IO dolls? Maybe we'll make an IO doll or two for it. Would I go for martial arts again? I mean, martial arts is pretty nice now, especially with if you get to mosaics. But even without it, it's still not bad. Yeah, I think we just need to clear this stuff out, honestly. Once we do this, then we can focus on him more afterwards. But just killing off at least a couple of these guys will be helpful. Uh, eventually invisibles, yeah. If you go way back, no. But Blizzard has kind of failed at dealing with bots in their game. Sadly. So let's hope that we broke the chain there and we only dragged up a couple of the mobs. Good, Infector's not physical immune. Easy. Will I ever stream hockey again? Uh, maybe. I mean, I've got a game tonight. But it's a little bit later, so I don't think Moo Girl is going to be there. Ow. That's a little bit spicy. There is a lot of mobs in this area. This chaos is pretty awful, to be honest. Oh my god, the one shot. Like, ugh, I almost want to just reset. It's such a bad chaos.
Honestly, this is a great hardcore character, but if it was hardcore, I also would be playing a little differently than I'm playing. I'm play I play much more aggressive in softcore. <laughs> This will be a really hard body to recover. Uh... Oh, get it. Call Arcadius. Mosaic's a new Renward that makes martial arts assassin the best character in the game. Yeah, that was weird lag. I don't I don't know. Is it did it kill my stream or is it just like some small lag? I'm still dropping frames? Okay. Yeah, that was strange. I don't know what happened. Chaos Sanctuary, River of Flame, sometimes does it with the fire. Hardest thing to do in Diablo 2 is it Ubers? I mean, hardcore, like, speedruns are probably harder and stuff. But. Yeah, Ubers is like the endest game content that they have. Better occur in the game even without Enigma and Infinity? I mean, it's ridiculously good. Add in Enigma and Infinity and it's just like... Yeah, I mean, get yourself a nice smiter and Ubers are fine. We just needed to be a little slower over here, that's all. I just needed to clear this stuff. Slow and steady. Yeah, Long RPG is going to really try and aim to bring back the old school Diablo 2 itemization before Rune Words. The OP runes especially came in and and overtook everything. I still want to create cool power items to find, but that'll be an interesting challenge to try and balance and figure out. Alright, now we have to get him up here, so we're going to do this. Bang! There we go. Now he can't go south. <laughs> Gotta trap him, because uh, he's gonna try and run away. He's gonna try and run south towards his guys. He always does. Build a wall. And make him pay for it. Jesus, this is just a, a nightmare of an area. It's just like so much stuff. It's all right, we got our ravens working on Vizier, so he'll he'll die soon, and then we're good. That was a very very hard chaos sanctuary. This guy just smoked it impressively. 30 cold runs on that, nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, really not a bad jewel. I know, Epi. I looked over and saw it. I was loving it. You gotta go right first on some heroes, Fogger. Would thorns work? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just running an edge bow would probably be the strongest way to do this. Well, Rhett Height, exclamation mark, RPG Discord, it sounds like Llama RPG is going to be the game for you until you die. Get in there and throw some punches. <laughs> Dang! That's nice, Latimer. Love that in a playthrough. Can a turn-based game have hardcore mode? Uh-huh. Mine will. Nice act four done. We got Doombringer! Which I kind of want to just get an Act 5 Merce and give this to him. Because, I mean, lifesteal, bonus AR, out of damage, chance to cast Weaken. It's like a really solid Act 5 Merce weapon. Thanks, Marduk! Alright, um, Bulwark is Io, a Shale Io Soul. Which I do believe I have now. Shale Io Soul. Yep. So we could definitely make a bulwark. They will be LMs. How are you going to treat a hardcore character reset if something happens like a lag spike? I mean, my thought is if you die, then that's, you die, you know. In terms of resets, things like that, I'm not sure. I can publish the Hockey Vadia. Yes, oh wait, we can't get it yet. Hey, right, you can you can use the Deadly Pike. I'll put that to good use. I, I, I can now. I can't publish the other piece, but I, I can publish that one now. Can I go to Nightmare? Uh, not killing stuff, just like shopping is the idea. I mean, I've found everything in a speedrun, really. I found Jaw Rune, I found Cham, I found Burr. I, I found every rune except Zod in a, in a speedrun or just like casual playthrough run like this. We found, uh, you know, Griswold's Helm, Griswold's Shield. We found just all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, he's stone skin. I may come back. 
Kinda nasty. So that's the uh, I I'm I'm just subbing for like whatever teams. I found F Titans on my Java Hardcore speedrun, and then I proceeded to die right after. Um Yeah, so so I sub for just like whatever leagues want me. So that was the uh, Christian league. So they were doing prayer at the end of the um, game. So like, you know, I'm not really like a big religious person or whatever, but I'm not going to be uh, a dude who's like running off not to join in or whatever, you know, it's fine, like. Say a prayer, that's nice. I started playing hockey a bit after um, college, and I played out, like skated out, and then I stopped for a while, and I did for a little bit, and then I stopped for a while. I wasn't standing. Um, and stone skin again, whatever. Uh, but I started playing goalie like a couple months ago, maybe less. So I've only played like nine or ten games of goalie. I'm still kind of learning that position and feeling that out. But it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. It's a really fun position, but it also is, you know, brutal because you just... You hate, you, you can't make any mistakes. You know, you make a mistake and the puck goes in the net and you're like, dang it. So I definitely get frustrated when I, you know, just let in, like last night, I let in a couple goals that I should have had and you're just like, all right, you just got to do better there. Oh yeah, hockey gear smells terrible. So bad. Stone skin, so annoying. Do I have a coach? No. Butterfly? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing butterfly. So, yeah, I mean, my coach is YouTube. <laughs> uh, probably me going minor pro hockey. Hello. I mean, the thing is, a sumo in the net isn't actually that great. It sounds really great because they take up a lot of the net. But they're not going to be able to move really fast and get around. And honestly, especially once you get to that really high level, those guys can place the puck wherever they want to place the puck. Straight up. So... Stop puck from going in. Thanks, coach. But yeah, I've definitely felt better and better and more comfortable as I've been playing. I've the even like the not great goals that I'm letting in are still better than some of the goals that I was letting in at the start. Like the first time 
the first few games I played, there were just some bad, bad goals I let in. And I'm sure I'm, I'll still let in some of those again. But, you know, it was like you just let like an easy slider right through your five hole. And you're like, oh man, that, you just feel bad. Those are really nice gloves, actually. 25 light, 17 fire res, 21 MF. I would use them, but they already have really nice light res, and so it's just a little bit of fire res. And there was Emperor of Sports Central, they put a sumo in net and had a pro take shots on him, and he scored every time. Yeah, I mean, again, they're just like so good. They can just put the puck wherever. So if you have a really slow moving guy in the net blocking up three fourths of it, it doesn't actually matter and help anything. What homeboy get kicked out for yesterday? I think he got kicked out for probably like cursing and yelling at the refs and whatever stuff. Essentially, he got really mad because the guy slid into him and took him out blades up. Um, and like smashed into his knees and then shoved kind of smashed him into the boards Which I understand why that would be upsetting and why he would be angry. Yeah, I need to free the barbs if you want to act by Merce, but The thing was the guy didn't do it at all on intentionally whatsoever They called a penalty on it and stuff, but literally the guy just fell He's not a good skater and he slipped and fell backwards and when he did that, his feet kind of went up and he, you know, happened to catch the guy. And it, I mean, I understand because it definitely like was not a great like takedown, but very easy to see. 100% not intentional. The guy just isn't a good skater. But the dude just, I think, was just letting the ref have it. And so they just sent him out. They just were like, nope, goodbye. They're not orthal. <laughs> All right, let's save some bobbies. So, yeah, I mean, I can understand why the guy was really frustrated because that's dangerous and that's like a horrible way for like somebody to like take you out. I'd be pretty mad as well. But also, you know, intent is a big thing, you know. As a goalie, I've had a guy, I had a guy the other game who like completely slid into me and just, just tripped me completely and wiped me out. But it wasn't malicious, it wasn't intentional, it just, the dude lost his footing and, you know, just wasn't a great skater and that was it. So it's like, you just have to, you know, sometimes be like, all right. <laughs> It's an obvious accident. Like, it sucks. It's not fun, but... Alright. Let's give him Doombringer. Can he use it? Oh! 165 strength! Wait. Why can't he use it? 70? 165? 163? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. It's the wrong mercenary. <laughs> Um, let's get, it needs to be the two-hander, so, there we go. I don't even have, like, a spare helmet to give the guy. I've got my, his bulwark ready to be made. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, this is just nasty. Woo! Thanks. Exactly. Do you have any guaranteed progress in the league? I mean, if you pick up the match, another team is looking for you. Guaranteed progress. I 
I don't know what you mean by that. Pass amp some good experience. Yeah, but I'm level 71. Like, do we really need a lot of experience now? We'll get 72, we'll get 73. And we'll be fine. Not currently JLo. Because he's a good boy. We got Doombringer. There's a playthrough. It's Rainbow Druid, so not really, uh... Playthrough. Just, uh, like a fun playthrough. We just kinda enjoy it. If you catch the match well, do you have a possibility to advance higher? Um, so you kind of decide that on your own in a way. Like, if you're doing way too well, they will push you to the next league. But essentially, uh, like, I mean, I'm just subbing and stuff. So for me, it's, you know... I've I that that league I played yesterday was like one of the lower leagues that I've that I play in. I've played all the way up to upper C. Which moved a lot faster. No stone skin. Holy freeze is annoying. Have my birds take him out. Do I plan to find a team? I think eventually I'll find a team. There was one team I actually really liked playing for. They're not like a great team though. They're they're at the bottom of their league. Um, but it was like straight up a co-ed team. But it was actually like everybody was super really like really kind, really fun, really funny. It seemed like they all hung out and had a nice time together. But yeah, there were like four girls and six guys that showed up for the game that I played with them. Age range is all over. It's 18 plus, it's like adult, but you get people all the way up to like 55 and stuff. You, know, you get really old dudes. Do you get to play for free most of the time? Yeah. I, I haven't paid to play at all. Have a nice day. Thank you, Sandro! That's actually one of the reasons I wanted to play goalie is because hockey is actually getting more and more expensive. It's pricey, man. But goalies play for free. So... I love that, because there's just not enough goalies. There's not enough crazy people that want to spend tons of money on gear and then also get pucks launched at their face. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I mean, I tried to buy goalie gear on the cheap and it still ended up being decently expensive. Do I work on my flexibility? Somewhat. I need to probably do more. Easy, Ancients. Goalies don't get to fight people? That's not true. You can fight people. I got in that guy's face last night. I said, one more time, and the blocker is in your face. It's an empty threat. I would never, like, do it, but, you know, you got to get in their head.
That's what all the goalies always say on the goalie forums. They're like, if somebody keeps sliding into you or like hitting you late, things like that, the next time they come in late like that, just smack them with your blocker right in the face. <laughs> and then they'll stop. And the refs are like always on the sides of the goalie as well. So you can do that stuff. And you're like, he keeps sliding into me and hitting me. And they're like, I know. I get it. Goalie is holy. Yep. That's great. You're like the most protected person. You don't pay. You're super protected. I don't know why everybody doesn't play goalie. Well, yeah, everybody's got to go through that. Ouch. Oh, my God, that hurt. Didn't like that. Hey, if I hit you into my goalie, you better get out of the way of hitting my goalie. Because if you hit into my goalie, even if I hit you into my goalie, that's on you. Actually, let's get this experience here. And let's heal this crazy poison damage. gonna be that good I'm just happy to play my beer league hockey keep it nice and simple and easy oh mercenary rip I don't think I've ever played escape from Tarkov Get Jimmy. This isn't D4. Oh, yeah. Picking up blues. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I know, right? I still remember 20 years ago playing Diablo 2. Sitting at the computer in the morning at my friend's house, eating a bowl of cereal, playing Diablo 2 on their dad's computer. We did summoned for normal last time, so change it up this time. Well, I play Baldur's Gate 3. You know, I'm actually considering it. Seems to be uh, talked up a lot by everybody. Feels like it could be an, an interesting play. I haven't played any of the Baldur's Gates before, so... Do they still play D2? I don't know if they still play it really too much, but 
they pop in the channel every now and then. Say hello. I do like it, Orthel. Oh yeah, we would just land play all the time. It was fantastic. I guess I should be decrepified so my mercenaries since, or my minions aren't. I haven't played Divinity either. Ah, oh, classic travels. Wake up early before school to run Enigma? Exactly! Where is that? I miss, I miss that in games. How's BYD doing? I think well. I mean, he seems like he got remarried and is happy and uh, living, living life, you know? So, happy for him. Pops in every now and then as well. Just dropped an Omrin? Let's go, baby. Easy does it. You miss offline play? Agreed. Which is why Lum RPG coming to offline play near you. <laughs> yeah, Ravens do great damage. Do you switch to edge bow? Yeah, I just never made it because I never I got bored and didn't actually go back Otherwise yes, we would already be on edge edge would be just even even better and faster than everything but SOJ counters? What do you mean? Ah, stone skin. Why are you so annoying? That's right, we actually got him down pretty fast. Oh, yeah, 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 that's still the thing. It's a little different how it functions, but still the same idea. Nice. Poison damage is annoying. Let's just kill the unravelers here if we can. on this one. Couple more. If I weren't a streamer, would I prefer Detroit to update server D2? 
I mean, I like both. I think I think D2R's got some great updates. I think there's a couple things I don't like, but overall it's pretty solid. But I feel like, you know, LOD, especially if you go to, like, the modding, obviously there's some great mods there that, you know, I'm really sad we don't get to play here, so. Uh, it should go up in, like, an hour. Skellies. Next playthrough gonna be? I don't know. What do you guys want to see next? Throw barb, did we do that playthrough? Spears on? Consensus is poison dagger, Necro. Just dagger. I don't get to just do poison before. I just have to straight up do dagger. Every day, what are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> you sought out a Diablo 2 stream to say that? APM way down with this build? Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't even have to use your hands, really. This build actually looks good now. I told y'all this build is solid. It's a summon build. <laughs> yeah. Summon builds are not known for their high APM and <laughs> crazy excitement with all that. <laughs> it's just players one here. If you like auto battlers, this might be the game for you. Pretty solid, like if we got that on our zealot, that'd be really nice. I'm 
I doing for physical means? I just don't fight him. I see the old school graphics. So, we'll just be avoiding that. I mean, honestly, it holds up fine. It's just really slow. <laughs> for killing these, this wave, but... That's alright. Yeah, they did a great job with it. Yeah, the old graphics don't have proper anti-aliasing on them, so they're worse than the actual old graphics. But you still get the idea. Uh, yeah, their, their damage is still... They, they reverted it, essentially, and made their damage really good again, so... Alright, we'll kill this one, and then we'll just run outside. We've proven that we can kill them. It's good enough for me. Oak Sage is terrible at AI. It's so sad. It's, they're just absolutely suicidal. There we go. All right, come with me. Punch Barb playthrough. Let's see if uh, he'll stay alive for Bale. Uh oh, I'd say over five. Easy. It'll it'll take a bit on the bail kill. Oh, I love the cutscene. Yeah. Need him to like chill for a second. He's just non stop bouncing and cloning and teleporting. It's really annoying. Yeah, if he would settle in for a minute, we could actually get some hits in on him. God. So annoying. It's really annoying. 
annoying when it happens like this. Goodbye, mercenary. No chance. Nah, he won't regen unless you go away for like eight minutes, five minutes, something like that. Are you kidding me? What is that? The uh, demon is shifted further left on the fake one. So you can see, look at how the demon shifts when I, I go between them both. So the real one demon is more centered. Also, only the real one can teleport. We got shots today. It's a miserable bail. <laughs> Tequila? No. <laughs> Roto and Flu and T what? T dap. Yeah, this bail is not chilling. Uh, there is no amp damage wand. It's not a thing. That's interesting to notice. I don't know, Bale is just not having a nice day. He is very unhappy. <laughs> so is Lilith. So is baby Lilith. Is I don't have enough gold. Okay, there should be poison necro where I started with poison dagger and then like did like a whole playthrough, but I don't know. You see Diablo <laughs> She's watching, man. It's the first time she noticed it. 
Yeah. That's Big Bad Bale over there. You got him. <laughs> exactly, RJ. What's her nickname? That's not a bad idea, Capetian. You don't think I have a poison ne necro playthrough? Huh, alright, well maybe we have to do poison dagger into poison nova. Let's do a whole poison setup. Starting to do a little bit more damage. Still going slower than desired. I mean, not having a mercenary with crushing blow and stuff uh, doesn't help for sure. But you can at least get some hits off. Ah yes, curse is only Necro, the epitome of fun. God, Bale just has so much life. Who's endangering? They love this. They're having a blast. Ah. Get him! Oh my god, it's like the 20th clone. If he wasn't cloning so much, he would be almost dead. But every time we come in, he clones. It's brutal. Thank you, Blue Dreams, again for that prime sub. That's true. <laughs> Change three things. Uh, fix weapon. <sighs> fix weapon bases, do more damage. Change the chance to hit formula. Probably remove level. Hello. And 
make it so whenever anybody buys it, they also end up buying Llama RPG. Three solid changes. We haven't done much Grail lately. I think we're still at eight or seven items. Ooh, add TCPIP back. Nice. Also, yeah, fixing all the scammers and bots and everything. Sounds pretty nice. Stamina? No. Bots are pretty bad in, in the game, yeah. Oh my god, stop cloning. You're so annoying. Coax them over the edge and shove them off? At this point I like the idea. No, no way to stop cloning. It's not an hour fight, but it's a good 15 to 20 minutes. Stop the clone and just kill him fast enough. I mean, sometimes he'll relax it like this at least for a minute, you know? That's all we wanted. Just this. This is the longest he's given us. And now we're making tons of progress. All we needed. There's no amp damage. One snow. But then he does this and clones, and it's like, well.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can be painful. Alright, wolves, get over there. Time to start hitting them. Wally gives us the time. I need y'all on top of him. Thanks, RJ. All right, we're halfway through his B. I have not played any Witcher games, no. There's a lot of games I haven't played I need to play. Good drops. Eh, I mean, a lot of like mildly okay drops. an ancient sludge. I don't really need rhyme. I'm I'm fine here. Exactly, RJ. Closing in. Get him. Yeah, this is hell. the hell section can I start over of course I feel like we're gonna get like a Saigon's piece couple rares like a magic boot or something. Blue halberd, nice. Wait, where'd my bear go? Oh, he was like on top of him, I guess.
I did find Tyrael's Might off Hell Bale when I was doing my 99 grind on my Paladin. So... It has happened! Alright! Beautiful! We got Tal's Mask instead. Great for the mercenary, actually. Also nice for us. GG, you guys! That is our Rainbow Druid. Pretty, uh, pretty solid. Honestly, besides Bale, because I didn't have, like, Crushing Blow on a Mercenary, that was just a breeze, man. Just flew through the game. Really, really nice. Quite a, a lovely character to play through. So Summon Druid, they've really made it Mr. Lama, in a good help. spot. I'm your zeal playthrough. You showed us how a bill can become socketed. Uh -huh. I want to know how a bill becomes a law. Oh, God. Any videos you recommend. Thanks as always for your dedication to the D2 community. Mr. Lama mod check. There are some videos I've got for you. I'll send them over. Mwah! Kisses to you guys, it's dad o'clock, and my baby just had some vaccines, so she's having a tough time. Peace! Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time.